You're right guys, this is Build or Buy. Now I know it's been a little while since I did the last one, but basically Build or Buy is the series of videos where I look at whether it's better to build something or whether it's better to buy something. Now I know as makers we do always really want to be building something, but is it always the best option? Can we get it a lot cheaper? Can it save us a lot of time? That's what I'm going to look at. And in this video, it's Christmas Eve boxes. Let's quickly compare the costs involved with building versus buying. The cost of the wood to make the box will be a big variant. You could use free wood people give away as firewood, or you could go to town and use expensive exotic hardwoods, so I'll leave this one blank. Small hinges are quite hard for me to find in my local hardware stores, so online prices really do vary. Buying in bulk could bring the cost down to 20 pence a pair, but if you're just making the one box, then they're about 199 including delivery. A very similar situation for the Catch 2, Buying in bulk helps to bring the cost down, but individually you're looking at $1.99 including delivery. The finish you choose can vary quite a lot too. I use a spray lacquer which costs me £14 including delivery. I can spray 4 boxes for that price, so that's a cost of £3.50 per box. So a running total, not including wood, is £4.20 if you're making multiples. Of course you are looking at a good few hours of work to make the box too. Now looking at the buy option, the box I brought was £5.24 including prime delivery from Amazon. It measures 20cm by 14cm by 8cm. Of course it's unfinished so we have the same finishing costs, but we don't have anywhere near the same amount of working time invested. Yes the box isn't the best quality, it's not going to last generations but I think they're more than good enough for a simple Christmas Eve box. The box is a little rough and ready, so I'll spend a couple of minutes sanding the edges and make it smooth to the touch. If you could vote for me, Claire and Vicky in the UK Blog Awards, that'd be great. There's a link in the description. There are many different options for decorating it. I decided to go with a burned design, so I printed a design to act as a guide. I left a blank space on the top so I can add the name later. I'm using the iron transfer technique because I have a laser printer, but you can always just trace it if you haven't got a laser printer. It works just as well. The wood burner I have is basically a soldering iron. They're really cheap but not great. They do get the job done though. This is really just to give you an idea of what can be done. Using paint, marker pens, ribbon, glitter, you can really go to town and decorate it however you like and of course get the kids involved with it too. The box is just a blank canvas. So that's the result then guys, I think you'll agree, nice and quick and simple to do. As always, I know we prefer to usually make stuff, but for the price of this box, I know I'd sooner be able to just buy it and then decorate it myself. If you did want to go down the route of making your own from scratch, I have got a video which you might find helpful, and that's the Marilyn Monroe box that I made. It's a similar joints which are just mitre joints, it's really sturdy, it's made out of walnut and maple, so if you're looking to make one that's going to last years and years to come, check that one out, that's the one to follow. But if you're after something quick and easy to do, something the kids can get involved with redecorating, check these out, they're dirt cheap and you can go to town with the decoration on them then, put your time and effort into that instead. So that's it then guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you found it helpful in some way. I'll see you on the next one. <laughs>